All right, it's Python on Hardware time. All right, we so need a song for this one. We'll too. have yeah, there's going to be a song for each section. That's why you got to keep watching the show. Okay, I know something to look forward to. Yeah, so this week's newsletter it is jam packed. Not going to spend a lot of time on it because we have two big chunky bits of news. Um, so first up, CircuitPython 7.3.0 release candidate zero is released. Please try it out. Please try to break it, and please let us know if you do. Big updates, RP2040 PIO, lots of stuff that Jepler did. Uh, he's on break, and he'll be back. But before he left, he added floppy, floppy IO and did uh, background support for PIO. We also merged in MicroPython 1.18. Um, and we did, um, there's a couple other little things here and there. Uh, and then MDNS, which is part of Scott's uh, project over the next few months to work on uh, Wi-Fi workflow. So it'll be yeah. very interesting. Um, so you can check out the Raspberry Pi Pico Learning Path that's on the Pi site. We have the PyCon US 2022 highlights. Um, some news from the Python Software Foundation. Running Python in the browser, and there is just a bunch of stuff in the world of Python and hardware from individual projects to events to all the things that's going on across anything that can run Python, check that out. But the big news is a follow-up from last week. So last week we talked about MicroPython needing monthly support on GitHub sponsors. And I was a little disappointed that we tried to do a fundraiser to help them out like last year. And it was still basically the same number of people. There was 84 people and it, it was uh, pegged right before it got to the 5K. They're just looking for $5,000 a month so they can pay developers. We asked you to contribute. And you showed up, um, 116. So it went from 84 to 116. Yes. And I want to give a special shout out and thanks to Fred over at PyCon. Thank you so much, Fred. You uh, were one of the folks that put them over the edge, uh, over the top. Over the top. Um, and um, it was really nice. PyCon uses MicroPython. And um, this is the way, uh, this is uh, Fred. And Bettina, and I just want to say thank you because there's a lot of companies that use MicroPython, and I've contacted a bunch of them, and you know, crickets. Um, but y'all, you said, hey, this is great, um, and now there's a way for organizations to contribute. And so the only bad news with this is, I was talking to Damien, the founder of MicroPython. He's like, oh, once you hit the goal, it doesn't say how much. Um, is there, and you can't tell where you need to reach it. So they set a new goal of ten thousand dollars a month. So they're halfway there, of course, because they got to the five k mark. And um, if you want to join, great. Um, we're going to continue to help out MicroPython in all the ways that we can. And um, if you enjoy using any form of Python on hardware, this is you know the the base that we all build our stuff off of. So um, there's a lot of cool companies. Uh, PyCon's one, Pyronis one, Adafruit's one that is putting the um, our money where our mouth is. We all say we like open source, but even if it's just, you know, even if you're a company and times are a little tight, you could do 50 bucks a month. You can. You just can. Um, so please. Think about all the free do. development time that you get from having MicroPython, which is so well supported for so many different boards, um, works so well. I know a lot of companies and makers are basing their products off of MicroPython or CircuitPython. Speaking of. We don't take donations, but MicroPython yeah. does. Um, speaking of, and uh, like you were saying, there's so many boards. So we, many boards. We just hit 300 compatible CircuitPython boards. And just to be, you know, horn tootin', not about Adafruit, just about what this community did, thank you everybody, there is 300 and more than half are not from Adafruit. So when you look at all the boards, even the popular, many of the popular Most ones. Most popular one, Pico. Yeah, and so I think it's... Seed we know shall. Yeah, so I think this is... Teen C41. This is an indicator of when you build a good community, it's okay if there's other people playing together. And that's the whole point. Um, you know, this is like the skateboard ramp and we all have our different boards, literally. And I think that's one of the things that uh, MicroPython, CircuitPython, we're very aligned. I think that's why you know you see merges and you see collaborations, you see all that. But if you want to help support all of this, you could buy a board from us. You can, when MicroPython has boards again, there's chip shortage, buy some boards from them. Um, we resell their boards. You could buy a board from us and we're buying boards from them. Or you can do the thing that would help them out the most, which is sponsor MicroPython. Bam. You know, even if, if you're an individual, 10 bucks a month, no big deal. Um, and, uh, you know, once again, I want to thank everyone who did that. And um, thank you, MicroPython, for building something that we could uh, base MicroCircuitPython off of. And now there's 300 boards. And like I said, 
more than half aren't even from Adafruit. Love it. And that is Python on hardware. Don't forget, you can sign up on adafruitdaily.com. We don't spam, we don't harvest your email. This is a completely separate site, and we deliver this every single week to your inbox via a pink snake. Snakes as a service. Yeah, SaaS. Okay.